What's up, YouTube? You missed it. We just bought a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee, brought it home, posted it, and sold it. Didn't do anything to it. I wanted to film it. I actually went to film it. I grabbed my camera and I started, but then my battery was dead and I had to erase some stuff off my card. So I brought it in the house and then someone messaged and they came and bought it right away. Picked it up for 800, sold it for 12, just like that. Didn't do anything. Probably could have got more. It only had 150,000 miles in it. Um, ran good. Had a wobble when you hit bumps. But, you know, for me, it was just 400 bucks to drive a car home. So, I did it. Didn't even maybe put I'll, freshener Maybe it. I'll plug in a picture from the ad um, just so you can see what it was right here. But, other than that, we made money today. I'm happy. Camper shenanigans is commencing. Britt's still going to town. She's painting all these walls. Cam actually did this. He was helping, I guess. But she wants to spray all this white. Everything. So we're going to bust out the Wagner because painting it by hand, this was no fun. Still got to take this off. Um, but yeah, the Copart camper. She's working away. We've been so busy, guys. Haven't had time to really work on it. It's summertime. I've been helping her dad build their new house. So I've been there most every night till about 10. At least. And yeah. uh, just getting that done. It's all framed up because that's actually, you know, what I do for a living. So it makes sense that I'm over there helping. Um, but yeah, this camper's coming along. It's looking at me like she's not going to want to sell it. <laughs> she's putting a lot into it. I love it. It's gonna look great, so. Just with a brush and rolling, it just wasn't turning out very well, and she wants to, she wants it to look great. So, just gonna tape it all off, and we're gonna spray it with the Wagner. It's gonna go on smooth. Stay it's, tuned. This is a whole new adventure for us. <laughs> yep. Seems like a lot of work, but you know what? Women that look at Pinterest, this is what they like to do. This is what I live for. So yeah, the boys broke. One of our trampolines, we got another one over there they're jumping on, but they broke it, so I figured I'd hang out with her. I went over there, drug it over here, and I've just been laying on that thing <laughs> while she tapes off. <laughs> but yeah, and I cannot get anybody to want to buy this. I've got it posted at 1600 now. I don't know. Tax time's over. It's definitely different. Um, not as many people interested in buying. I figured if I put 50, 50 bucks into a door, find a paint and match door, I'd still have this here. So I just, I don't know. I just don't think I'm gonna get very much more money replacing the door with that there, you know? That's kind of my theory. Um, but it runs and drives wonderful. It's got brand new tires on it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might just have to drop the price. I think, what did I have into this? Like 825 or 850 So, I don't know. Still going to make money. Just probably not as much as I wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what we've been doing all day right here. Well, she's been doing. Um, I was going to go put some work into the Jeep. But figured, you know what? I might as well just post it. Make some money and run, you know, boom, day's work. 400 bucks in a day isn't too bad. Literally didn't um, do anything to that thing. Sucks I didn't give you a walkthrough though. I should have probably looked through it. Like I said, the camera was, the card was full and the battery was dead. So this guy messaged, made me an offer over Messenger. So if you'll take this, I'll come right now. He offered 1200 bucks. I was like, yep, you know. I bought it for eight, drove it home, didn't do anything, not he didn't even clean it. <laughs> so that's a that win honestly. for me. Those are our favorite ones. Yep. But yeah, definitely, definitely things have changed since everyone's out of their tax money. Um, I've bought and sold cars a lot for a long time. Never really at the caliber that I'm doing it now, like just steadily trying to boom, boom, boom. I would just, you know, sift. Because instead of going on Facebook, I just sift market, you know, and I would see a deal and I'd go get it and, you know, do a car here and there. But, um, but the difference is, is 
you used to do it for fun. Yeah. And now you do it full time. This is our income. This is so it puts more pressure on you because like we rely on this this money more. Yep, we do. And I mean it's still fun. It I still fun. it's not like I have a job. We have a I'll lot just of fun do this. But uh but yeah, it's it's slowed down a lot, so I guess what do you do when it's not tax time and you know because people are always trying to buy cars you know there's always going to be people needing cars so but you just don't you know usually at tax time you buy it you clean it boom sold first day you know what i mean for what you want what you're asking you don't have people chopping you chopping your head off making offers um so what do you do when it's just a normal day middle of the year you know what I do is I try to find extremely cheap, and this is my theory. This, and I've said it before if you've watched my videos. I could have held out and I could have sold that Jeep for eighteen, nineteen hundred bucks. Could have, but if I'd have held out, I'd still have it. I would, you know, I would have made eight hundred, nine hundred dollars off of it. But it would have took me longer. You know what I'm saying? Like I brought it home. I sold it instantly, made my 400 bucks, run. Now, I can go buy something else tonight and essentially do the same thing, whereas that would have took three days, four days to sell because I was trying to get, you know, near top of the budget for it, or the price, and I would have sat on that and I would have made, you know, eight, nine hundred dollars in four days, five days, or however long it would have taken to sell. So now, I think if I can get them cheap, and I can still sell them cheap, because I think this guy was a dealer. Um, the way he talked, he just, he's wheeling a deal. And I left a lot of meat on the bone for him. Um, so yeah, if you can find them, get them cheap, and then still sell cheap, and know that, all right, I'm gonna sell three or four cars and make four or $500 a pop. If I can do that in a week and a half versus selling one car in a week and a half, making 900 um, you know, in the long run, I feel like I make more money. I'm doing more stuff, but I'm making more money. But yeah, as long as I'm making more money, volume, you know, selling more for less, you're going to get more sales, you're going to sell a lot more. And, you know, it's, for me, it seems like that works out. I don't like sitting stagnant. I don't like waiting. It drives me nuts to wait. But... Uh, I don't know, that's my theory. Tell me what you guys think. You know, when say you buy something and you you know you're trying to get top dollar for it, you definitely got more of a picky audience. And I've just had better luck buying just just getting rid of it. You know what I mean? Be really aggressive. Post it this day, the first day, and you got it at this, you get two, three messages, next day, lower the price. Get a few more messages. If you don't sell it, next day lower the price. Be aggressive. Um, and that's that's worked for me because you can sit on cars for a long time. But yeah, the Copart walk around. Sorry about that video. It was an hour and six minutes long. And honestly, before editing, it was two hours long. We had way too much fun at yes. Copart that day. <laughs> we did that one later. It was awesome. <laughs> Somebody said in the comments. That video made me dizzy. <laughs> I was laughing because it kind of made me dizzy too. There's a lot of cars to look at, you know. But I don't know. I think if, you know, people respond to those videos, well, I will do more Junkyard Copart, um, you know, IAA videos. Yeah. People are really interested in Copart. Um, we love it too. I love it. But, you know, I just got the titles on these. I can't sell that car to save my dang life. Which, that's crazy to me because I had that car um, probably about 10 years ago. I had a car just like it. And I loved it. I mean, it drove smooth. It runs great. Um, they're, those cars, like, I don't know if you showed them, like, the inside of it. Yeah, but they're sweet. so roomy. And that's what I loved is because I was about to have uh, my first baby. And there's so much room for, like, the car seat and you know, all the other stuff. And I, I think they're nice looking cars. I, I'll get that door fixed for not even a hundred bucks at the junkyard and you're ready to rock with a good looking yeah. car. I think it's that rust and dent behind the door that's getting us. But either way, we're gonna make money. 
I've been holding out and just like I told you, you hold out, you're gonna sell that in a week and a half, two weeks, make your 500 bucks, whereas you could have sold three or four cars, you know what I mean? So when you're buying it, if you're gonna buy and sell, don't don't just be firm and, and non-flexible, just be flexible. Um, know you're gonna sell, know you're gonna make money and, and move on to the next one. Don't get hung up. It's just the way you gotta be. But yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion on how, you know, to do it because it, it works for me. And, you know, you see I get a lot of Jeeps because Jeeps work for me, you know, that no matter what time of year it is, you know, in a drought or whatever, people will buy Jeeps. Um, Jeeps have a following. You know, there are Jeep groups on Facebook, hundreds of them. People love Jeeps. Um, and I guess my theory as to why they work so good to me is I know Jeeps. I know what they go for. I know what's good about them, what's bad about them, what engines to go for, what ones not to. Um, you know what I mean? And the fact that they have a following that Jeep people are diehard Jeep people. They love them. I already I know I can sell it when I buy it. I know if I'm getting a good deal when I buy it. And you know, just like now, I sold this Jeep and the guy that knew about Jeeps that bought it knew he was getting a deal, you know. He knew he was getting it for roughly six, seven hundred dollars cheaper than it's really worth. You know, even though I'm making money, he can take it home and make money if he wants to, but he knows he got a deal. Um so yeah, that's you know, you'll see me with a lot of Jeeps, um, VWs too. Those are kind of slowing down lately though. Um, like what was it, last summer or summer before, I was just buying all VWs, I was slamming them, I was, you know, they were in. They were definitely, people, kids were buying them, dropping them, putting wheels on them. Um, but it's slowing down. The last couple I've had, I've sold fairly quickly, but mainly, and now, you know, Facebook Market, when I go there and I'm in vehicles, it shows me almost every Jeep for sale. It knows. I look at all the Jeeps. It knows. It knows me. So it characterized me. But uh, you'll see a lot of Jeeps on this channel just because I know I can sell them. I, they have never let me down. I've always just been able to sell Jeeps. You know, nobody's got Saturn Aura groups on Facebook Market. Definitely aren't people beating my door down trying to buy it. You know, I posted that Grand Cherokee an hour ago, and I had 30 messages already. You know what I mean? And and honestly, I posted it at 1600. Figured that's a heck of a place to start. I bought it for 800. My goal is always to try to double my money. Um, and everybody was messaging. You know, I, you know, what would you take? What would you take? This guy said 1200 bucks. I'll come pick it up right now. I said all right, come on over. He came here, didn't say a word, just drove it, said, all right, here you go. Gave me the money, you know. That's what I like. No hassle. It's basically free money. I went there, I drove there, I picked it up. I drove back to Secretary of State, picked up an instant title, drove home, parked it, posted an ad, boom, three hours. 400 bucks in three hours. What do you do? You know, how do you beat it? You don't. Um, yeah, that's, that's just my theory, guys, you know, and... If you've got something that works for you, or how about this? Put in the comments what your vehicle of choice is because every flipper's got that one thing, that one car that works for them, that they stick with, that they know is going to make them money, that never lets them down. What's yours? Put it in the comments. I'm just curious to see if you guys are a lot like me and you have you know, those, those fail-safes, those one things that you know you can't go wrong on. Um, no, won't let you down. Right, that you know you can sell. You just know what it's worth. You know if it's doing this or if it's wobbling, it's this because they all do it. Or um, like Jeeps, the door locks don't work. I know it's the mother switching the driver's door. I know how to fix that. Um, they all do the same things. What's yours? Um, just let us know. It'd be freaking awesome to just see. But, curious to know. Yeah, and you know what? These are just strictly things that I do. I'm not saying it's the way to do it, but it's the way I do it and somehow you know we're doing it successfully i really appreciate you know the people that support this channel and watch it and you know stick it out with me and 
and shoot me messages and give me advice and <clears throat> stuff like that. I love talking to you guys. Uh, thank you for all my new subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. I just really appreciate it. Um, I Stay appreciate. Stay tuned for this camper. Yes. We'll see if it's a success or a failure. Yeah, actually, what are you gonna? What are you planning on doing with this? What's your? Well, your clearly you're taping everything off that is not going to get painted. Everything that could even get um, the off spray on it. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit it with the paint gun. I tried the brush. That sucked. Was taking <laughs> way too long. It wasn't going on how I liked it. Um, the material they used to make this, it's, I don't know, it's weird, but it's not easy to paint. So we're just going to hit it with the sprayer. And then once everything is painted, I'm going to make a stop to Joanne's Fabrics. And I'm going to buy some new fabric for um, the couch cushion over there that pulls out into a full-size bed. And then this table and two benches have cushions on them. And it folds onto a bed, so I need fabric for that. And then a um, couple things here and there might do, you know, a couple decoration type things just to make it cute. I need to get a new, like, curtain thing for this. We took it down. It was some ugly checkered wooden thing. Wooden thing. I didn't even know what it was. But I'm going <laughs> to get a curtain for this. That'll look cuter. Yep. And then a curtain for the bathroom. Um, and then it's just all the little things have to go back on. The knobs have to go back on all the cabinets and stuff and might try to save this carpet hopefully it's got a lot of off spray yes. on it so far we're though but i'd like, to, I'd like yeah, to save it we're keeping it we'll I'd vacuum like it it'll it. come out yeah and give it a good scrub yep but it's gonna look totally different so stay tuned awesome and i'll keep you guys posted on the copart camper yeah i like that name <laughs> yep so she's doing a good job she's doing all the tedious stuff that my ADHD, OCD, self can't do. Hmm. I just get too wrapped up in it and I just can't focus for that long, I guess. That's why I can't keep cars. Because every time I buy one and I like it and it's awesome and then I get sick of it and I want something else and I sell it. Yeah. So that's how it works for me. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Follow us on KB Motors channel on Instagram. Yep. Um, please comment, you know, let us know the car or the thing that you buy and sell that works for you always. Ours is the Jeep. It'll always work. I know it. I make money. It's our go-to. This video is just, you know, I guess my opinions, my strategy, you know, how to make $400 in three hours. Yeah. You know, who doesn't want to do that? I do. I do. You know, and uh, please, Tell me what I need to do to sell that dang thing. Just drop the price completely is what I need to do, I believe. It's at what, 16? Yeah, 16, 10. I yeah. <laughs> My broke, I gotta take that apart right now and throw it away. Kids broke it. So I might just do that. I might just drop the price, take the money from the Jeep and that, and go get something. I don't know. But I'm gonna be shopping now, I'm gonna be on the phone. Looking for a car to buy tonight. I might buy one tonight, probably tomorrow. I'll uh, shoot another video and let you know what I got. Yeah. Please stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the messages. Remember, KB Motors channel, Instagram. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, give this video a thumbs up. And just, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Peace. Bye.